Distribution of the Antarctic Fish Pseudocanicthes georgianus norman, 1939 in the Atlantic sector of Antarctic. The Changes of Otolith Shape, a book of stories about the nature of the distribution of fish georgianus and not only for fish. Terrestrial observations of separate geographical and vertical living on different age groups and species of fish suggest that differences in otolith shape among them became from difference in their environment conditions. For example the decrease of the otolith length and increase of the otolith height as water temperature is dropping. Age groups of Georgianus separated in time scale confirm geographical divide of Otoliathem as frequency as separate age groups on Antarctic islands. Two aged fish at Pamar Archipelago, in February, three aged at King George in March, and four years and more aged fish at South Orkney in December. This same as for age groups in length frequency geographically divided on separated Antarctic islands. Geographical separation of age groups on shelf of different islands indicates that marine habitats of these areas have different properties. Such that Georgianas of the younger age groups prefer the western part of the Atlantic Antarctic. But the older age group east north part. Age group is identified by otoliath shape, which, indicating the different habitats, development stages and strategies of life, type of swimming. Water temperature determines distribution of Antarctic fish. So older age groups fish 48 centimeters found at South Orkney Islands may have been resulted from lower temperature of waters below 0 Celsius degrees up to minus 1 Celsius degrees. Younger age groups of three aged fish 43 centimeters found most numerous at elephant have little warmer waters up to 0 Celsius degrees. The smallest fish 30 cm length of two age group appear at Palmer Archipelago have warmer water of above 0 Celsius degrees up to 1 Celsius degrees. Swimming of young fish in habitat thermally other than for elderly fish may be due to a decrease in grace with the age the production or activity of AFGP antifreeze protein having AFGP. Ice fish Chanic theory prosper in cavities and crevices in ice. AFGP decrease temperature of blood freezing at or below minus 2.2 Celsius degrees, which is lower than the freezing point of seawater equal to minus 1.9 Celsius degrees. It is by inhibiting the growth of ice embryo into star ice crystals. AFGP is adsorbing and form hydrogen bond with ice network. Asratus from larvae to fish of two year old, living in warm pelagic water and praying krill, has weaker activity of AFGP proteins equals to 0.21 to 0.41 Celsius degrees than adult fish. Adult fish at the age of 4.5 years while descend to the colder depths of minus 1.47 Celsius degrees of large activity of AFGP, that reduce freezing point of blood by 0.57 Celsius degrees, that is accompanied with four times increase of their swimming possibility and diet change to eating fish. Young fish with delayed activation of AFGP protein can avoid cold water. Activity of AFGP is suspended in ice fish. It increases during adaptation of fish development stages to the transition from pelagic to bottom, or from warm to cold water. It seems to be the role, because also concentration of protein activity AFGP for the high Antarctic fish depends on the stage of development of the fish, synchronizing with space system of water temperature. Warman, 1996, and Food. Separation of different habitats between different stages of development, different age, 
provides a better use of environmental resources. It seems to be a role also for Georginus, with appropriate small correction that Georginus has about two times greater activity of frost protection of AFGP than Asratus. Georginus in compare to Asratus has a higher activity of AFGP equal to 1.03 Celsius degrees, can swim in colder waters up to minus 1.91 Celsius degrees and finally is larger predator. Concentration, the activity of the AFGP protein in the white-blooded fish is increasing in colder water in the direction to the pole, and with the depth, Bilic, 2011. Again, in 1989 at the western shores of the South Orkney and Elephant Island, where most of Georginus were older and larger, there were also adult and large krill. Additionally on western southern shores of the King George Island, there were small juvens krill and larvae of Georginus that can swim in colder water. There is synchronization of the size of the fish, of its ability to swim to the size of the food. The Asratus and other larvae were near Ice Edge. The ice edge on open ocean extends habitat of coastal larvae that join to other one. From different water, demersal, from bottom shelf, sea mounts, deep water, bathypelagic, pelagic and oceanic. The ice edge connecting King George, Elephant with South Orkney, were located over mountains that combine undersea above islands. Undersea seabed belt of mountains and ridges play role of channel for conducting sea currents, which carries krill and fish larvae. Geographic age groups in otolith shape, we can find being in well agreement with their food size of krill migrating, drifting and growing with currents to the east. Second age group were captured Palmer archipelago among juvenile krill. Adult fish age 4 and above were caught at Orkney Island, among larger adult skrill. While small and juvens of krill associate to ensure, adult krill in spring and summer migrate on shore to north for spawning and move with currents to east and this suggests that their active swimming carnivores follow after them and accumulated in the east, as the older and large fish were found there. On the north along the continental slope were adult krill migrate for spawning, there were southern front of the Antarctic circumpolar current leading its life to the east near South Orkney. This current is the largest current in the world. On the southern shores of South Shetland there are Bransfield current, which carries small ally from Shetland to South Orkney Island. Thus on the north, East of Shetland Islands large adults Georginus, of age 4 and above from King George to South Orkney have to withstand stronger surface currents and whirls. In opposite south, west side of Shetland's larvae and small fish have protective environment on their shelves extended by ice edge zone to the South Orkney. The Antarctic Circumpolar Current the Weddell and Scotia confluence creates in Shetland a system of currents, whirls and countercurrents, where Georginus lives and to which it has to have a strong adaptation to survive. This system together with ice edge zone inhabited by krill and fish larvae have great potential for migration of fish even for shelf species. Such conditions are often extend to South Georgia. The currents have great influence on krill distribution. Typically, krill is carried from South Shetland Island and from the Weddell Sea through Bransfield straight into the Antarctic Circumpolar Current up to outside of South Georgia. However, the extreme south movement of their move currents and thicken the abundance of large krill in the areas of South Orkney Island. The ice cover with under icy living world distributes the larvae of fish. Nowadays ice cover in winter has very small range, while in the past in the 80s can reach up to South Georgia Island. In the summer similar, 
Ice cover in the 80s can reach South Orkney Island, while now is only near Antarctic Peninsula. Georgianus show different geographic distributions in the number of fish. At South Georgia ice fish were more numerous. This could be related to swimming possibility. At South Georgia we can see strong turbulences and eddies, and also more krill for food there. Closer to the continent catch drops two times on research vessel Professor Saeed Lecky. Quantities different because temperature and other environmental parameters different. The quantity of fish is greater because they have more krill for food. The further to south the density of chlorophyll is smaller. Georgianus catch from 1975 to 2012 confirmed trend. Catch became seven times smaller in the direction to the continent. Although it is a small area, shelf of South Georgia were also separated geographically on age group of Georgianus. The smallest 0 and 1 age group of 7 cm and around 19 cm fish were on the western side far from the shores. On opposition, the northeaster part of the shelf was inhabited by large fish from 4 to 6 age group. A large number of fish from old age groups of Georgianus on the northeast side of South Georgia Island were coincided with the location of permanent turbulent flows causing local accumulation of large krill. This shows that large fish of Georgianus live in currents to break krill. In 1978 to 1979 where krill phagus of Georgianus was being caught more, 48 kilograms per hour, krill density was high, 550 grams per cubic meter. Such an arrangement is not accidental because it's repeated year after year. A large species, fish of Georgianus have to be better prepared in balance perception to withstand currents when feeds on large krill being in stronger flow. In the next season as previously age group were concentrated at different regions, zero age group on northeast, one age group on north, two age group on west and older than three age on east shelf in larger density. Older individuals inhabited shallow and deeper waters 50 to 500 meters. Fish from the age group of three inhabited deeper waters 150 to 500 meters. The small fish from age group of one there were only at deeper waters 250 to 500 meters. This suggests also the vertical separation of the young age groups from the older. The food, its size and amount determine age group separation together with the temperature. In the region of cool vortices at the depth exceeded 150 meters high by a mass of krill focusing there, attracted large fish of Georgianus in great amount. Again in the next season 1990 age group was separated geographically, one age group of young about 19 centimeters concentrated on west side of shelf in the contrary to old age group concentrated on opposite northeast side of island. Similar in the next season 1992 year age group was separated geographically, one age group of fish about 21 centimeters concentrated on west side of shelf and old age group of four and older concentrate on opposite northeast side of island. In summary between 1989 and 1992 year larvae located on shores as they growth to post larvae during swimming to up shore, they were moved by currents to the west. At western side, fish were accumulated as fish of age group of one. They stay here longer as age group of two. Large and older fish that are better swimmers were at northeast side feeding on large krill accumulated the by whirls. 
Separation of age groups into different geographical regions creates space arrangement arising from adaptation of species to environmental conditions during development and growth. First age group congregate on the west of the island, where there are weaker currents and the region of inflow of plankton, and post larvae carried from the north, east and south sides of island by around coastal current. Separation different habitats between stages of development give the best use of natural resources. It results from the course of the currents with their temperature determining swimming strategy. Worse swimming larvae were protected by coastal bays reducing the strength of currents and forming counter currents. Pusclavi are flowing away from the shore in a current flowing around the island and congregate in confluence of two currents into one age group in the west of the island. On the northeastern side of the island large fish supposed to be well swimming, with using and opposing whirls, could persist in them, and feed on accumulated in these whirls large specimens of krill. Separated geographically age groups were differentiated by the ability to swim in the currents and eddies needed to get food in them. This ability is managed by otolith shape. Why? As it is follow below. The shape of the otoliths is the indicator of the lifestyle and character of habitat. The efficiency of swimming in the currents increases the chances of survival on shelf. Success in obtaining food provides higher speed of swimming. To achieve that the flowing shapes of slightest resistance were created for all objects need to have high speed of swimming to catch food, to escape, or to maintain themselves in the habitat of currents. Fish to catch other fish must be bigger and stronger and have body shape with little resistance. Escaping fish are elongated to have smaller body resistance. Hydrodynamic resistance, RA, H, is the smallest for flowing shape and is equal to 1. Thanks to have it, fish mastered ocean space. This has also a reference to the otoliths providing swimming the balance and precision. The flattened shape of the otoliths poses little resistance in endolymph and increases the perception of positions in fast swimming. Otoliths have changes of shape from spherical to streamline elliptical to more elongated shape as the speed of fish swimming increase, which takes place during the ontogeny and phylogeny. The surface of the otoliths is plastically formed by labyrinth and by measure the changes of endolymphatic pressure induced by activity. Changes of the pressure in the endolymph range are ingredients from which at start of that changes in stationary larvae they are assembling into spherical otoliths. Spherical otolith of larvae during development of their tissues, by the first movement of the body by energetic bending of the body on sides, change its shape on ellipsoid flattened on sides correspondingly to the increased pressure of the endolymph on these sides. After hatching otolith's shape becomes more flattened from two to even three times. It is because hatched larvae after get off from the egg obtain large free space for physical activity and for swimming, Changing environment and physiology in hatching is as large as it is clearly marked in the microstructure. For Georgianus the mark of that shift is as wide layer having more calcium that washed out separates the hatching nucleus from the rest of the otolith. Pustlavi otolith and hatching nucleus on transverse plane. Further flattening of otoliths runs from pustlavi to fish of one age group. Pustlavi swims faster than larvae as begins to migrate to the waters further from shore and deeper, their otoliths become more flattered. The increase in the otolith flattening by second primordium on medial cross-section give the widest surface which in move of fish in dorsal direction increase the perception of balance during vertical migration. The second primordium increases the flattening of otolith and decreases its front profile. 
The otolith shape of Georginus is changing by the life stages. The otolith increments along radius in dorsal direction are wider, and this increase flattening as otolith growth and became older. Three large changes of shape, central primordium, larval nucleus, second primordium and large second primordium are associated with improve of swimming speed. Relationship between parameters of otolith shape is change with the change of lifestyle from larval to adult fish. It shows faster growth of otolith height, and otolith rostrum length, than otolith length. Similar life stage confirms proportions of otolith, if this is same during life of fish. Large dorsal area indicated large vertical movements has high growth rate. For 30 cm Georginus above 2 age group, high growth of anterior colliculum give larger sensitivity of body balance in swimming forward need in surface currents. How do we know that the shape of otolith indicates the speed of swimming? From comparison, faster species of them more flat. The shape of otolith is changing among species of fish of different swimming speed and depth of living. Large changes in the width increments of otolith macrolon radii R3, R11. Otolith macrolon R3 has large width increments, on R11 small, so his large length than the height. Extreme length of macroloteliths arise from its high speed of swimming, show by torpedo shape of body. Lack of the increments on the one side of the otolith in labyrinth is probably from a pressure of swimming speed removing otolith substrates from that side to the other, where a large acceleration locally concentrate them. Speed in swimming is the source of shape diversity. Dorsal edge of macroloteliths have increments tightened up and its growth radius becomes 3.7 and 5 times smaller than the growth radii to the back and front edges. In Georginus otolith radii growth in opposite pattern. The height of otoliths of Georginus, as fishing floats in form about vertical stability needed for vertical migrations and for lifting with currents. In opposite to that long otoliths of macrol are sensitive on changes during swimming in the horizontal direction. Swimming depth is source of diversity in microstructure and shape of the otolith. Length of otolith of fish macrus carinatus is large, more than two times than height, radius R3 is greater than radius R9. They are not very fast swimmers, so that is the impact of higher hydrostatic pressure of about 1,200 meters of the column water. Transverse section across otolith carinatus is similar to Chanicthidae, but its otolith length is large similar to length of otolith mackerel. Proportions are inversed. Dimension of dorsal radius is small for dorsal part but large for ventral part of otolith of carinatus. Vice versa is for chanicthidae. Squids swim slowly with pulsations that create twins hemispheres in otolith shape. Slow swimming also creates the widest otolith increments. Otolith shape differentiates the pattern of high energy swimming of mackerel with body waves. Pulsed swimming in squids, slower suction, with water download, rapid motion, with water rejection by funnel. Low energy swimming of ice fish chanic theory by using the pectoral fins, the accuracy of vertical movements are measured by deviation of otolith height from the vertical, that is, better by higher otolith, high, laterally flattened body having large fins has about 20 times more resistance from the lateral than the front side. This with the pressure of the current on the concave side of curved body of flowing fish produces a hydrodynamic force increasing the speed of fish swimming forward. 
The shape of the otoliths is plastically formed by distribution of endolymphatic pressure thank to that it provides for fish from otolith shape interpretation, the information about the speed of body movement, body shape of Georginus evolved as the shape of otoliths with respect to the same target is high, facilitating vertical migration and is laterally flattened facilitating swimming in currents with minimal energy consumption on friction force. Body shape is an indicator of the shape of otolith, because it results from the speed of swimming and life strategy and that all depends on body shape adapted to environmental conditions. Lifting strategy, the use of currents and the uplift force of fins. Spreading a large area of fins gives lifting at rapid flow with sea currents without the need high energy on the fins and body movements. Large, wide fins float the body, which is lighter due to the reduction of bone and axial muscle. In lifting strategy and low energy swimming of Georginus, pectoral fins in the first phase of motion. Horizontal spreading out to the front and to the sides increase the horizontal plane of fish so support fish to float at required depth level and keep on it. In the second phase, the fins retracted horizontally to the rear are pushing its all surface on water and pushing fish forward. The pelvic fins have static task and create the jets that smooth and accelerate the flow of water along the body. Also between first and second dorsal fin there is jet that smooth and accelerate the flows along dorsal fin and body. The water pressure creates hydrodynamic force acts on side of the flowing fish. An asymmetrical shape with respect to the axis of swimming direction causes asymmetric flow that creates differential pressure on opposite surfaces, and thus the driving force to forward. Factors increasing the hydrodynamic force acting on back of the body. The aerohydrodynamic force increases with growing of lateral surface of fish body. More smoothed surface of the body increases the power of aerohydrodynamic force. The Chanicthidae have a smooth skin, without scales. Larger sensitivity and skin elasticity give more perception for the body bending. The fins increase the smoothness and the velocity of flow of water along the body. Body shape is an indicator of the shape of otolith. This could be shown by compare species from different conditions concerning swimming possibility. Large lateral surface of the body increases the power of aerohydrodynamic force, phi. Factors modeling the shape of otoliths. The highest body of Georginus, its large head and jaws, that define predator, creates a narrow, Pelvic fins large effective for vertical migration. Longer, unpaired fins increase the resistance of the body side. A stratus has body less high, but its fins, anal and dorsal are longer, head smaller, pectoral fins larger, so has larger horizontal migrations. Gunari has body less high, but it has very large anal fin dorsal and pectoral, so it has the greatest horizontal migrations. The smallest head reduces front resisting when swimming. Environmental requirements with respect to efficiency of swimming, factors modeling the shape of otoliths. The high body of Georginus helps in swimming with using shelf currents and countercurrents during vertical and horizontal migration. Big mouth helps in predation. A stratus intermediate species is not as high as Georginus so has greater diffusion. The most slender body of Ganari sacrifice the species for predators, but it gives little front resistance. What would the big fins give to Ganari the greatest diffusion? Georginus has body height greater and lengths shorter than the Ganari and a stratus. 
It also has shorter dorsal and anal fins in favor of head size. Shorter fins decline swimming opportunities. Otoliths of Georgianus like its body are high. Otolith length of Asratus is longer than the height. Otolith length of Georgianus is shorter than the height. Georgianus has a smaller range of occurrence but probably prefers colder water than Asratus. Georgianus has otolith height o greater than otolith length o. Body total length. Asratus has longer otoliths and has a greater range of occurrence than Georgianus. Additional centers of otolith growth. Additional primordia are also available in otoliths of Asratus. They give however a lower elongation than dorsal radius R9 of Georgianus. Otoliths of greater length than height indicate long lasting and greater speed of swimming. As otoliths of Asratus are not high, so height of their body is smaller. Georgianus has smaller range of occurrence than the Gunari. Otolith height of Georgianus is greater than its otolith length. Otolith height of Gunari is lesser than otolith length. Otoliths of Gunari are longer than high, indicating a wider occurrence and greater speed of swimming. Species confirms the elongated body with a lower height. Otoliths Gunari are nearly square, two times smaller than Otoliths Georgianus. Otoliths Gunari have more circadian microincrements. The otolith's shape of larvae is similar to an oval on a median plane and flattened on the transverse plane to reduce resistance in swimming forward. The biggest flattened otolith is gunari so it swims the fastest and the farthest. Older fish swim faster, so flattening of its otoliths increases. Larger flattened otolith indicates a faster swimmer. Otoliths macroline fold flattened on sides. Gunari R2.8 flattened, Asratus 2.3 fold flattened, Georgianus 1.96 fold flattened, and Squid Antarcticus R1.6 fold flattened. Range of occurrence. The otoliths of Chanichthyidae and mackerel have large differences confirmed by their complete separation in occurrence. Mackerel is not an Antarctic fish. Known location of fish from catch on shelf of islands, Georgianus, from depth of 0 to 475 meters, between 53 degrees south to 66 degrees south, on island's shelf of Antarctic Peninsula. South Orkney, South Georgia. Otolith little flattened, small range of occurrence. Asratus, from 5 to 770 meters of depth, between 53 degrees south to 65 degrees south, on island's shelf of Antarctic Peninsula, South Orkney, South Georgia, South Sandwich, Bouvet. Otolith more flattened, average range of occurrence. Gunari, from depth of 0 to 700 meters, between 48 degrees south to 66 degrees south, on island's shelf of Antarctic Peninsula, South Orkney, South Georgia, South Sandwich, Bouvet, Kerguelen, Hart. Otolith most flattened the greatest range of occurrence. Unusual catch location of Georgianus from island shelf, South Sandwich indicated by Germany, Kerguel and by Australia and Balani by Russia. Chanik theory concentrated in eddies and swim in current greatest in a world facilitating migration. They have running in large and small back and forth branches. In winter. The ice cover with reach under icy living world distributes the larvae of fish from shelf to the open ocean, connecting habitat between islands. Wide near and under ice distribution of krill secures that the food to near shore larvae lives in that caring under ice world on the open ocean. At the surface, where the currents are strong, there were large fish. In the surface waters there were found only three postlivy of Georgianus. Rest, 
about 100 pustlavi were deeper, where water currents are weaker. Pustlavi of Georginus do not occur at the surface, they have high activity of antifreeze proteins. Postlava avasratus do so, because it has low activity of antifreeze proteins AFGP and from that could swim in warm water. The shape of the otoliths Chanicthiidae, Georginus, Asratus and Gunari are similar due to the similar strategy of swimming, they have a similar body shape. However that species have a little different otolith shape and body what indicate change tolerance of water temperature and swimming speed, pelagic life to bottom, temperate to high Antarctic, in a result of different content of antifreeze protein. AFGP. Why there are swimming differences, where the causes are and how it is go. Increase in activity and production of antifreeze proteins. All species of Chanicthidae have lost hemoglobin that reduced oxygen transport. But instead of the main trend reduction in the number of red cells and hem contents from low to high Antarctic fish. They spread on all Antarctica from temperate to high Antarctic waters, from surface across pelagic to bottom deep waters. The links in which loss of red cells and hem content determine a variety of strategies of low energy swimming and thus different otolith shapes. Reduction in the number of red cells and hem content reduces transport and storage of oxygen to the muscles of the body and thus their reduction and develop swimming strategy with low energy in all Antarctic fish. Bottom fish from shore move to deep and pelagic waters as they were removed from the shelf by glaciers. The 100% oxygen diffusion from atmosphere to Antarctic water and next in up to 90% to ice fish body at temperature 0.96 Celsius degrees. The changes with bottom fish migrations to deep water, drop in temperature when oxygen pressure is constancy to minus 1.91 Celsius degree. Increase oxygen saturation in hemoglobin, increase oxygen pressure in the blood and tissues. Need blood cells then? Not, increasing the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen impedes, even impairs putting it into tissues, blood viscosity increase when temperature drop. So reduction of red blood cells give, lowers blood viscosity and from this increase oxygen transport. To fulfill strategy of swimming speed to different environment each species has a different compensation of reduced oxygen transport what differentiates their ability to swim and thus differentiates the shape of the body and the otoliths. At first white blooded fish compared to red blooded have larger body. Therefore, ice fish have reduced heat loss due to the smaller surface in Bergman's rule of energy benefits. Chanic theory achieve larger body size. Bottom lifestyle of Chanic theory. Chenocephalus osratus has the body weak with a reduction of the axial muscles, which is probably due to the large volume of blood, up to 9% of body weight usually poorly vascularized. White blooded also have a reduction of ossification in a result of displacement of benthic fish fauna from shelf by glaciers to greater depth or to the pelagic. It enforced a reduction in body weight, because the white blooded does not have a swim bladder. Pelagic life of Chanic the D. Lack of myoglobin, which enhances oxygen diffusion by 600% should limit it low commotion activity of muscles because lack of oxygen. It is not for gunnery, which increases oxygenation by larger capillaries and large spaces supplying capillaries with blood. Additionally gunnery have no reduction in axial muscles. Between vertebrae, its streamlined body shape indicates a pelagic life. Dense vascularization in skeletal muscle reduces the distance of oxygen diffusion, increases oxygen transport. 
pelagic life stage expect to Gunari to be a good swimmer with low supply in energy. Its slender body shape increases heat loss, by Allen's rule. The activity of alkaline phosphatases determines the size of the muscle vasculature. Greatest is in Gunari hence this species has more capillaries. Low energy swimming is from the pectoral fins. Only? The swimming on the pectoral fins saves more energy, because the muscles of that fins are slow oxidative fibers adapted to continuous low intensity movements ensuring the long-term swimming at low speed. Gunari has also oxidative and glycolytic fibers in axial muscles. Antarctic notothenidae with pattern of low energy swimming has also mosaic of white and red fibers as living in currents the high energy swimming fish of Salmonidae. The histochemical properties of muscles are similar between Nutathenia rossa and Gunari, lack of myoglobin compensate high vascularization, thicker capillaries and numerous space that reduces distance and amount oxygen diffusion so oxygen transport becomes more efficient. Semipelagic lifestyle of Chanicthiidae. Georgianus has a shape more compact than Gunari and in a result, it reduces the ratio of its body surface to the body weight, hence from that reducing loss of heat through the smaller surface of the body, which is important in cold water. A more massive Georgianus is less susceptible to chilling of the body. Large individuals need relatively less food, having a slower metabolism. Additionally Georgianus have in the myocardium hem that accumulate oxygen to the heart muscle so in this case fish has more energy to transport oxygen in enlarged body. Different flattening and proportions of otoliths, indicating differences in swimming, even small as among ice fish, could be confirmed in their occurrence and interspecies ratio. Density of aspiratus in second depth zone was greater than for Georgianus. Georgianus occurred more numerous on the northern and eastern shelf of Georgia Island, while aspiratus on the west side. Georgianus swims in warmer waters, about 0.8 to 1 Celsius degrees, defaulting on the northeast. Asratus swims in colder waters, 0.5, less than 1 Celsius degrees in the western and eastern shelf of South Georgia Island. Swimming of ice fish depends on antifreezing in relative to their old to the other species. Georgianus more stocky body is less susceptible to heat loss, but has a higher resistance and less active swimming. The heart of Georgianus has myoglobin, which increases the amount of oxygen to the heart. Georgianus is a semi-pelagic. Asphratus is adapted to colder water differently. His heart completely lost myoglobin and also have large reduction of the axial musculature of the body and bone reduction. It swims in deeper colder waters and near surface. However, the activity of antifreeze proteins of Asratus, especially in younger fish is lower than Georgianus and this species has a higher tolerance to warmer water on north. This may be the mechanism of feedback for better regulation of the body thermals to the changes in the environment. Lack of myoglobin for Gunari not limited low commotion activity of its muscles, since its larger oxygenation by larger capillaries and large spaces, supplies of blood. There is no reduction in the axial muscles and the species is a more wide, apelagic life. Shallow waters are warmer on the northeast, where are Georgianus, for spawning. The cooler rest of the shelf inhabits more numerous asratus. It swims slower. The western part of Shagrock is too warm, if Georgianus is there, than swims in the eastern, cooler part. 
the dominant age group of one of Georginus whose otolith's shape is more oval, is spreading on the shelf away from the island and to the west to cooler water. It migrates even west into the peripheral habitat at rocks of shag rock. A small number of large Georginus relieve their main area of focusing on north, eastern shelf and astratus, now colonize it in the absence of its predator, Georginus. Pelagic Gunnari inhabits the western colder part of the shelf. Dominated in 1989-1990 age group of one of Georginus, now dominates as three age group of mature fish, in the northeast, in a warmer area of larger current turbulences accumulating krill. This season Georginus is large and numerous, so astratus under her pressure is maintained on a small area of cool water and is more threatened by removing with current beyond the shelf. High depths of the ocean surrounding South Georgia Island and the strong western current flowing around determines Georgianus, rather gliding on pectoral broad fins than actively opposing sea currents, to focus in the limits of the shelf of the island. Within these limit there are all ages of Georgianus, larvae in summer inside a belt of 10 kilometers, 5 kilometers in winter. Post-larval forms accumulate in the coastal zone for searching a small food. Stomachs of 7 cm Georginus contain 3 cm larvae of Asratus and Gunari. Georginus could prey on fish of up to 89% of the length of their body. Larvae of Georginus migrate vertically for feed on Asratus and other larvae, they swim as their flattened otoliths show must in currents with enough speed to catch a fish. Larvae of Georginus occurred frequently in winter in the northern side of South Georgia, where there were large numbers of larvae of Ganari, and in the summer on the west, cold side of the island, where there were large numbers of larvae of Asratus. The larvae of Georginus migrate to western waters, cooler, in which oxygen absorption through the skin is higher. On the small shelf of shag rock, large fish of Georginus and Asratus compete strongly for food, which is krill. In the summer between 1989 to 1992, at shag rock's occurrence of Georginus, was accompanied by lack of Asratus and vice versa. Horizontal fish migrations. Large adult of Georginus occurred in large numbers in the north, and in summer also in colder western side of the island. They also have vertical food migrations and show concentrations. Fish. Larger slower in vortex warmer waters. Smaller deeper in colder waters. Phylogeny status and otolith, the relationship with the movement that determine the changes in their shape. Statocysts containing otoliths in the evolution of animal play one of the most important tasks. They give the opportunity to gain space, a new environment, food, escape from predators, thus ensure for species the survival and success. Without them, need to above the precise registration of changes in body position in the animal kingdom, with the exception of volatile insects, would be impossible. Otoliths serve not only maintain a balance, but also participate in the perception of sounds. Like the change of otolith shape sign up the development stages of the fish, from the ball in a stationary fish embryo to elongated in swimming adult fish, it can be traced in the interspecies changes of statoliths, the evolution of capabilities and speed of swimming of animals on successive organization level of the animal kingdom. From the simplest forms detection of balance changes in metazoan to a specialized organ of balance and hearing in bony fish in the process of concurring a new environment. 
free living animals having satellites that during ontogeny transform to sedentary lifestyle with a radial symmetry were lost satellites. Development swimming, moving and flying possibility with statocysts in animals, free living, radial, the bilateral symmetry. The otolith shape and microstructure evolved to be the best in serving the perception of oscillations carrying information on body move and sounds. All moving animals largest and small, high and low organized of it in water and also this heavy watered organ was taken on land and in the air. At all, the otolith means the possibility to swim and migrate go to the new space to extend the border of species settlings. All evolution based on motion for challenging space and environment show it. The Medusa free living hydrozoans have statoliths, which lack of them in sessile sponge. But even sessile sponge in a free space of their bodies that are filled with collagens, the spicules forming, which percept the turns of their body, showing build-up of the origin of otolith microstructure and its idea. In similar way to the gaps of organic net of otolith the aragonite crystals growth. Several statocysts at the edges giving orientation in space, radial symmetry of free-floating organisms have spherical statoliths. Every step forward to improve the possibility of moving to extend migrating is displayed in change of statolith shape. If animals swim faster enough it has appropriate large deviation of otolith shape from a ball. In slow moving, the changes work on body shape and statolith localizations. Animal only floating are radially symmetrical with same statoliths in the edges around of body. One statocyst at peak, the perception of sound vibration. Bilateral symmetry gets actively swimming organisms. Statolith spherical. In this evolution step animal are with one statolith in the top side of body, to get similar information from all directions. More swimming animals are changing body to bilateral symmetry and statolith localization in a front, to head. Tenifera, or to head part as a very important perception organ for swimming after a food or escaping from predators. In head part that information stimulate the development of the brain for their interpretations. In anlid one statosy star embedded in the brain in a cephalic section or in the front of the body, and are only in living free animals, having bilateral symmetry. Statocysts at two sides of the brain or at larger distance, but innervated by the cerebral ganglia, the bilateral symmetry, statoliths elongated. In a further evolution of the bilateral symmetry in the expansion of the new environment mollusks and arthropods form a pair of statocysts, which are most optimally localized on both sides of the brain. These animals winning land and air environment. Statolith starts the change of spherical shape already in mollusks in cephalopods. They are no longer balls like. Their shape and growth rate varies according to the needs of the increasing swimming speed, as well as to changes in the depth zones. Changes in the shape and microstructure of cephalopods otoliths was also found to be related to ontogenesis, the change in the living from epipelagia clavi to adult life, swimming deep into the meso and bathypelagic waters. As squid swim faster their larvae otoliths originally spherical, and nucleus, in the elderly have become more elongated and acquired the shape of the dual spherical waves. Five statocysts in place of two in bilateral animals. Deuterostomes repeat the beginning of the development of the sense of balance. In the new stage of evolution in which into place of the blastopore of the embryo, an anus was reformed, the vulnerable period of embryogenesis is extended. Hence the first deuterostomes, echinoderms develop in a safe aquatic environment, 
which is at the bottom, and leading sedentary lives. Accordingly, to that, the bilateral symmetry of larvae was dislodged during development to the mature adults by the radiant symmetry. The abandonment of bilateral symmetry related to free lifestyle causes the loss of statocyst. Statocysts are localized in old numerous mode, only if they have a bilateral symmetry as a form more useful in the free mode of life. Squirts, sea cucumbers, drilling and pelagic animals, has five statocysts located around the esophageal ring. One central instead of two statocysts in bilaterians. Deuterostomes repeated the centralization of the sense of balance. The last line deuterostomes of chordates, the tunicates confirm the centralization of sense of balance to one statocyst in the vicinity of nerve ganglia, wherein in some of them, the central statocyst probably corresponds to the central cavity of a brain as in other chordates. Appendicular area, larvae sings lead free lifestyle, or settled, are without excretory system and have opened the circulatory system. They are considered, as neotenic larvae. Those organisms have lost during evolution the mature stage but gain the ability to sexual reproduction before the full diversity of the body. In other sedentary tunicates, Sea squirt they have statocysts only in their larvae which are pelagic organisms. In the next organism in Thaliaceae statocysts occurs in cases where there is free living larval stage. Two statocysts, each developing a labyrinth in bilaterians. Deuterostomes reach near the brain as the best location for statocysts. Invertebrates. Each of a pair of statocysts develops in the membranous labyrinth containing statoliths adjacent on both sides of the brain. This structure has three channels for decomposing the measure of the movement into three components. They develop sequentially starting from one channel only in the first aquatic vertebrates characterized by achieving high speed, in a crania bottom living hagfish, Although not yet of a dorsal fin needed to sedate of faster movement, they have one channel, that increases the measuring precision a more important component of their swimming. Large changes of spherical shape of otoliths have fish vertebrate. Instead of no movable, or slow movable the sphere is the best to percept the vibrations carrying the information on body changes and on sounds in environment from all directions. If fish velocity is large, the signals from space are different between forward and afterward and backward. It is compensate by change the sphere to the elongate shape of otolith. Longer radius of otolith but is in motion percept the same signal in similar period as radius of otolith sphere in non-moving animal. No significant changes in labyrinth of terrestrial vertebrates. The development of sound perception by labyrinth. Labyrinth evolved among aquatic vertebrates as a whole has moved further by them in space acquiring on the land and in the air. In these new environments, Fish labyrinth still provides for the birds and land animals the balance without major changes in its structure and operation. Also reading sounds of terrestrial vertebrates despite excelling in a result of extension of labor into cochlea, but it proceeds as in fish in the aquatic environment in the labyrinth as a result of the vibration transfer of interlymphon cilia of innervated hair cell of fish lagina elongated to the twisted cochlea of mammals. In the organism's evolution, the process of development of statocysts containing statoliths combines them into a common direction for getting a better perception of their position during faster swimming or moving by measure vibration and in addition by interpretation of their acoustic parts for the knowledge of environment and to generate them in order to communicate within and between species.